if you remember in the last video i had created a model with the tailwind css and swell kit uh, i had improved this model a lot uh, like i can add uh, something and i uh, simply uh, full quad ap application we can add the customer as well as we can update the value okay so but in today's tutorial i'm not going to talk about this i will talk about this in some other video the today's agenda for the video is to create a table so for example this is a table i want to improve my table component and i want to send the data i want to re uh, make this reusable so this is what i tried so far i created the end table component i, I will rename this component later on uh, and uh, this is the data that i want to populate this table for uh, okay so i created this data from this api uh, this is a, a mock api.io i generated it with that and this is a customer data from the api i grab these two values and i just put it into my this data so i hard coded fitted these values uh, this is the item and i have the values like created name avatar email phone address and id so that's the data for uh, my end table component so far uh, but i want to populate this from the data with a schema so for example i remove this um, created at field from this schema and what it should do that the created add schema is removed uh, from the table uh, you know i didn't touch the end table component so uh, the aim for today's video is to explain how i do that and uh, for example if i remove the avatar from that as well so you will notice that our table is repopulated every time so this is a pretty reusable component we got a lot of libraries for that but i want to see how we can accomplish this into swell so i re-implemented that table so let's look into the end table component uh, the actually the logic is pretty simple we are just exporting two values like items and schema we want these two arrays or the objects uh, as a props so what we do in the table is that we in the head we fetch every column uh, with the label so we iterate over the schema with the columns uh, so we iterate over schema as columns and we fetch the value of the label so if you look into uh, this uh, we have a label and a key so we fetch this so this will be rendered as a head of the table like this and after that what i do is in the body in the t body what i do that i i create over the items uh, as each item and i also get i trade over the schema so what i do is i created a row as an item and i created the columns from the schema and i fetch every <coughs> excuse me so i fetch every column uh, from the schema and uh, from the item table i got the value from the array with the key so i fetch the items from as uh, from the key and i display it into a column so that's how my column is being populated so i go back here and if i undo my operations so i will get all the data back the next thing that i wanted to do is to add the custom classes to my table component so here if you see uh, my table is not a very much uh, uh, formatted uh, so what if i want to add the custom classes uh, value so i pass uh, these classes into the schema and i can render these classes into my end table component here so if i have a class component and i want to render i can easily fetch from the column and the class so if i go to this and uh, i see or what kind so i have a 
now if you try to inspect these values you can see that these uh, columns are added with the predefined classes that have we fed from so if we enable uh, the tailwind css into our component like uh, we import the so if we enable this tailwind css we'll get that so as you can see our table is now fully um, the css is applied so but we are seeing a strange behavior of the image we want to send an image and conditionally render that so for that reason what we need to do first let's change the css of this into the same with the other uh, table uh, values here i created a avatar component and i I'm going to use this component inside the table component so if I go to the anti table I can simply import the avatar and inside the some any value we want to render but here we don't have any track which component is the avatar component so we need to keep track of this for that reason we need to pass a conditional property which is a component as child component so if we have a child component inside any of the schema and entry so we want to check here if we have that we want to render that child inside this item so instead of this item we will be rendering that child component inside this so for that we just conditionally rendered with the if else block so if the column has the property of the component we are rendering this well component otherwise we are just rendering the normal value so if we need to render this well component we are using a special uh, swell component with this property and we are passing the component and if we want to pass some props we can uh, pass just uh, to this swell component so if we do this and uh, into our uh, page dot table we are simply passing this avatar component and uh, once we done that if we see the output you can see this pretty much avatar image here so that's all for today's tutorial uh, in the next tutorial i will continue to update this table component with the pagination so if you want to um, uh, look into future tutorials uh, please hit the subscribe button thank